Hello guys, welcome to Linux Ort. I tested a bunch of productivity apps by myself in the last years and today I want to show you the productivity apps I'm still using on Linux and yeah, I would say let's start with the first app. And the first app is inside Nextcloud. I guess many of you already know Nextcloud. It's a free cloud alternative to Google Drive and so on. It's also open source and it has a bunch of additional apps which enhance your online office. The first app I am using all the day to keep off track what I have to do in the next weeks and how do I not forget them? I write them all down and I'm doing this in the tasks app of Nextcloud. I have also synced the tasks of Nextcloud to my Android phone. There I'm using tasks.org and DuffDroid, which is now called DuffX5, I guess. I put you the links into the video description. So whenever something comes into my mind, what I have still to accomplish, then I put this into my tasks app. So it is out of my head and I can focus more on the important things right now. And when I have time, then I come back to next to task and have a look. Okay, what have I still to do? Yeah. How do I sort them? How do I manage them? I do this really simple. I only have one tasks list. I don't have 20 tasks list for my home, for work, for my volunteers. I only have one big list and I sort them just with the start date, with the due date and also maybe if it's very important with this little star. So with the priority tag. There are still many more features I could use in the tasks app, but yeah, I don't use them at all because yeah, I keep it very simple and stupid in this case. And I even write down all my important tasks at a sheet of paper next to my desk for work. You don't have to do this, <laughs> but for me, it helps me. Okay. What do I have to do today? This sheet of paper lies directly next to me and I can have a look all the time without switching the window to my tasks app. And yeah, something not digital. I don't know. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. If I can sometimes write something down and yeah, it's just expanding my digital life in this way. Very funny, I would say, isn't it? So yeah, this is all to the tasks. Let us come to the next point. Where do I plan my weeks, my days and all appointments I do have? Of course, I'm using also Nextcloud. In this case, Nextcloud Calendar. I'm also using the web version on my computer for it. We also have some options, for example, in Linux Mint with a calendar right built into Linux Mint. And we can see also here our calendar, but I do not use them regularly. I guess on my real system, I have synced also my Nexo calendar with um, the local one here, but I'm not using this at all. I'm just creating some appointments here and I'm always having a tab open on my web browser with this calendar, also with tasks where I can put very simple all my tasks. And of course I do also um, sync this with my Android phone or you can also sync this with iOS. I put you the video for iOS into the video description and for the Android it's really the same like the tasks installation. You need DAF X5 and um, then you're good to go and you can use your next calendar like your Google calendar on your smartphone, for example. It's very easy. And um, if there is no appointment in my calendar, then this event does not happen for me. And I also do have only one calendar, not like in this German example here. I only have one calendar where all my appointments are in because it's much more easy and I don't need too many calendars. Maybe if you're in a big team, then you of course import some other calendars. But my personal calendar is only just one where all my information is standing in. It's quite easy. It, it's very simple. And in the end, it saves me time when I create, when I manage my calendar, my task and so on, because I do it very simple and stupid. But it's okay for me. I don't need these extensible features because we always tend 
sometimes to over engineer everything and this is a point where this does happen in my opinion um, also a very nice feature we do have is of course um, the invitation um, generation um, we can put a email address or a contact i also manage my contacts with the next cloud and have synced everything so i can just type the name of someone for example um, my colleague Laura Müller in this case, I can send her now an invitation for 2 to 3 p.m. I can add a location description and so on. You know everything about this. I don't have to explain everything. It's very simple. It just works and this is fine for me. Yeah. How do I do meetings? Sometimes I call my customers via smartphone um, or via phone, um, but for online meetings, I'm always using Jitsi, a free video conferencing tool. It's completely open source. I have hosted it myself like Nextcloud on my own server. If you want to know something about this, just write it me into the comments. I will do a video about this and it's very easy. I can just start a meeting, send this link to another person and this person can join from a smartphone, from a PC, in their browser very easily and uh, yeah, it just works and yeah, I can do my meeting stuff and do not have to log me anywhere in. It's very easy. But if you need a login solution, then Jitsi has this also, of course, but I'm personally not using it right now. This is it to Jitsi. So, we have tasks, we have a calendar, we have now where I do meetings. How do I communicate in other ways? For that, I am using the good old emails. And my emails I am managing with Thunderbird. It's a great email tool. I would say the best email client we do actually have in Linux right now. I have a dozen of mail accounts which I can handle very easily, get a good overview with group folders and so on. If you want to have a video just about Thunderbird, just let me know into the comments how I use it. Um, Thunderbird got a lot of updates in the last month and years, so it's definitely a shot worth not to log into your email provider in the web client, just go for Thunderbird. It is already pre-installed on Linux Mint and it's very easy to get started with and I honestly don't know what to do if I didn't have Thunderbird. So yeah, it's about 80% of my whole communication is going through email and it's just as easy. Everyone has an email. You can reach everyone with an email and it's completely irrelevant which platform do you have. It's just a great basic tool to communicate around. And if you are communicating in real time, something like this with your team, you could use, for example, Matrix or Element.io. I'm currently not using this because my team is too small for that. I'm just using Signal because everyone has Signal right now. But if my team gets larger, then I probably would move to Element. Yeah. So this is it to communication. Let's head over to knowledge management. How do I not forget something in terms of instructions? How I did this? For example, I also, yeah, how do I write my video scripts? I'm doing these all things in Obsidian. Yeah, Obsidian is a very easy tool to note taking. It has a ton of features like some cool graphs, uh, tables, um, some, yeah, something like Excali draw. So yeah, just yeah, drawing space where you can put some diagrams in. I'm not using all these. I'm just using the bare bone of Obsidian, which is the text, which is writing. And I do not even sort them in some folders, how you see it here. I just create a new note and start writing because the search of Obsidian is very good. And I always name my notes in a manner how I can find these at a later point of time. And this also saves me a lot of time not reorganizing my complete Obsidian or other things. I'm keeping many structures like these flat because I'm using the search very extensively and it just works for me and it saves me a lot of time, I can promise you. I also do not any folders in Thunderbird. Thunderbird has a great search, not the search up here. It is the quick filter, best tool. Thunderbird had ever in invented and very fast. I recommend it very heavily. 
Yeah, this is it. Twist Obsidian. Very easy. I do not use the sync option of Obsidian, uh, which you can buy for $4 or so, I guess. Here we have it, but I do not use this. I'm using this in combination with Nextcloud Notes. Yeah, because Nextcloud Notes and Obsidian are using the same format, which is called Markdown. So on my desktop, I just synced my Notes folder and with Nextcloud Sync client, and I opened this folder with Obsidian. And on my smartphone, I'm using Nextcloud Notes. So yeah, I always have my complete knowledge in my pocket and also, of course, on my Nextcloud server, where I can access it from everywhere in the world. Of course, only there where you have internet and some power. Yeah, this is it to the classic productivity apps I'm using right now. I'm not using anything more extensively. There is one tool I could recommend having a look to it. This is called NoCodeDB. This is for yeah spreadsheets on steroids, I would say. It's very easy to handle and aggregate data and to also keep the overview of your data. I'm using this for a simple CRM for my customers and also for a very simple ticket system. Who of them already paid their invoice? Who of them not? And so on. And uh, this is just to handle a bit of data. But this is only if you are a small company if you're a big company then you won't use no code to be then you are using something like an erp system with crm for example which is for example dolly bar erp next and for the german fellows for example kiwi tendo there are also many other tools which are also paid but yeah i don't want to get in detail with these because the most of you won't need these tools and yeah this is it for this video as you see it's not something too complicated i do not engineered every bit out of my workflow i'm keeping it very simple and stupid this makes it great if i want to adapt some new platforms on it because yeah this is the standard of everything the most platforms tools are working with this and it's just enough in my opinion you won't need such over engineered workflows because if i over engineered something for example with Notion and so on. For me, this was in the end too much and I didn't stick using it for a long time. So yeah, I just moved back to the basics and this is just fine. What are you using for your productivity under Linux to organize yourself? And do you want to see such other videos in this topic? Just write it me into the comments. And yeah, this was the new video of Linux Ort. Linux Ort provides you weekly with new videos about Linux and open source. So if you want to stay tuned, make sure to subscribe this YouTube channel. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and consider ringing the bell if you don't really want to miss out our next video. So I would say see you in the next one. Bye.